This is part 19 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating a custom pipe in Angular. Let's understand this with an example. So here is what we want to do. Depending on the gender of the employee, we want to append Mr or Miss to the employee name. So if you look at the data that we have here, notice the first three rows are male employees. So to the employee name, we are appending Mr and the last two employees are female employees and we are appending Miss to the employee name. So let's see how to achieve this by creating a custom Angular pipe. This is the same example that we have been working with so far in this video series. In our previous video, we fixed the date of birth date format to be in MM, DD, YYY format within the constructor but we didn't do that for the data in this get employees method. This method is called when we click this button refresh employees. Notice at the moment we have four employees but when we click refresh employees uh, button this method is called and this fifth employee row is also loaded but because the date of birth here within this method is in DDMM YYY format it doesn't work as expected. Look at this when I click refresh employees button the fifth row doesn't load as expected. So let's change the date of birth date format even in this method to be in MM DD YYY format. So let's change it for the first row first and let's do it for this fourth row and finally for this fifth row. Let's save our changes and reload our web page. When we click refresh employees button, notice now the employees load as expected. The first step to create a custom pipe is to create a TypeScript file which is going to contain the code for our custom pipe. I'm going to place this TypeScript file within the employee folder because this pipe deals with appending this title Mr or Ms to the employee name depending on their gender. So let's create a TypeScript file. Let's right click on the employee folder, add and we want to add a new TypeScript file. I'm going to name this TypeScript file employee title.pipe.ts. Look at this. If we are creating a component that is here, we have employee component, we name it employee.component.ts. Similarly, when creating a pipe, we give it the name of the pipe dot pipe dot ts. So let's click OK. Now let's create our custom pipe class. I'm going to mark this class with export keyword so other components can import and use it if required. Class and then the name of our class. I'm going to name this class employee title pipe and this class is going to implement an interface provided by Angular and that interface is pipe transform. This pipe transform interface has got one method transform for which we need to provide implementation. So to this method we are going to pass two parameters. The first parameter is value which is going to be of type string and the other parameter is gender which again is going to be of type string and this method is going to return string. So what is this method going to do? It's going to receive the name of the employee and their respective gender and depending on the gender of the employee to the name we want to append Mr or Ms and then return that name. So the return type of the method is string and we are receiving name into value parameter, gender into gender parameter. So within the body of the method let's check the gender. Before we check the gender let's convert that to lowercase and then compare it to a lowercase gender value. So if gender dot two lowercase equals male, then what do we want to do? We want to return Mr dot and to that we want to append the name of the employee and within this parameter we will receive the name of the employee. So let's append that to the title and return that. If the gender is not male, then we know it's going to be female. In that case, we want to return miss and then the name of the employee. Now, to make a class an Angular component, we decorate it with component decorator. Similarly, to make an Angular class a pipe, we need to decorate it with pipe decorator. For us to be able to do that, we will have to first import pipe from Angular core. Now let's decorate our class with 
pipe decorator and provide our custom pipe a name. I'm going to set the name as employee title. We can give it any meaningful name we want. Now we can use this name of the pipe anywhere we want this custom pipe functionality. At the moment, notice we still have a syntax error right here because it doesn't know about this pipe transform. To be able to in implement this pipe transform interface, we will have to first import it. So along with pipe, let's also import pipe transform interface from Angular Core. Now we can use this custom pipe within the view template of our employee list component. So let's copy the name of our custom pipe, which is employee title and within the view template of our employee list component. Here we have the binding expression for displaying employee name. So to use a pipe, we use the pipe character and then followed by that the name of the pipe. The name of our custom pipe is employee title and this pipe has got two parameters value and gender. Value parameter will receive the name of the employee. Gender parameter will have the gender of the employee. By default, it gets the value parameter value. We don't have to pass it explicitly, but we will have to pass the value for gender parameter. So within the view template, let's specify a colon to pass a value for the parameter. And we have the employee object here. We can use the gender property of the employee object to retrieve the gender of that respective employee that we are currently iterating over and that gets passed to the gender parameter of our transform method. So let's save all our changes and reload our web page. Notice it doesn't do anything beyond displaying this message right here. Let's launch browser developer tools and see if we have any errors. So within the console tab, look at the error message that we have right here. The pipe employee title could not be found. So basically, Angular is complaining that it can't find our custom pipe employee title. So to fix this error, we will have to first declare our custom pipe within the module where we need it. At the moment, within our application, we only have one module, our root module, which is app.module.ts. So within this file, let's first import our custom pipe and then within the declarations array, let's specify our employee title pipe. Let's save our changes and reload our web page. Notice now the title Mr. or Ms. is appended to the employee name depending on the gender as expected. So there are three simple steps to create and use a custom pipe. The first step is to create the custom pipe itself. Here is the code for creating our custom pipe employee title pipe. And the second step is to declare the custom pipe in the module where we need it. And the final step is to use the custom pipe just like any other built-in Angular pipe. To use a pipe, we use the pipe character followed by that the name of the pipe, colon, and then any parameters that we may want to pass to that pipe. Thank you for listening and have a great day.